we chose transportation as our project because, first of all, I like cars, and second of all, it seemed appealing to to us that and all and also we wanted to know how people get in around and out of the east side. Well, the heyday, so-called heyday of the trolley was probably from about 1910 to 1920. Here in the Twin Cities, ridership, that is the number of people riding streetcars, hit its all-time peak in 1920. And that year, 238 million people rode streetcars. Why? The automobile, the freeway, which eventually coaxed away most of the riders from the, from the transit companies and the bus companies. We interviewed Mallard Teal, a motorcycle restorer, and he he restores motorcycles in the east side. Mallard told us that there were a lot of motorcycle companies that built and restored motorcycles in the east side. Oh, in the in the early, or I should say, the late 1800s and 1890s, there was almost 200 American-made motorcycles. This is a 1912 Wagner. And this is taken, picture was taken down in Farmington, Minnesota at the Ant Minnesota Antique Motorcycle Rally. This motorcycle was built right on 4th and Wabasha on the bottom of the motor cases. It's embossed on there, St. Paul, Minnesota. And in the late 1800s, there was six motorcycle companies in the St. Paul area, with Wagner being one of them. The U.S. Post Office in Minnesota or St. Paul, I should say, use Wagner specifically for their mail delivery. I'd say in the early 60s, there used to be a place right on York and Payne Avenue, a little station on the corner, and you used to be able to rent little Honda 50s. And you didn't have to have a license at the time. Um, 14 was the age limit. So people would go up there and rent them, and you'd ride them all around. And kind of took over where the bicycles were. When you get to that age, you kind of start to put the bicycles behind you. And, we started to move into the motorcycles. I drive. Um, I drive because it's more. It's, it's real convenient, um, and it helps me get to point A, point B. As far as like getting to work, getting to daycare for my son. Um, plus. The east side compared to all sides on the, in St. Paul is kind of big, so if you're not really driving, it's kind of like pointless to just trying to get around by walking or catching a bus because, you know, it's kind of real convenient. Go ahead. How do you get around the east side? Um, if you're up on a bus from downtown, it's a few buses that you can catch. You can catch 61 that goes down Arcade and 7th. The 64 that goes down Payne Street that's right here from downtown. That goes all the way down to to uh, Maplewood Mall. You can catch the 64 to go to Maplewood Mall. Um, what else? 74 that goes down 7th, 7th Street. That goes to Sunray. That's like a little shopping area. Even though people like cars, the east side should go back to having more public transportation because it's first of all people save money and second of all it, give, it gives us lesser pollution than private transportation. <laughs>